Cleaning any kind of roller in printmaking is easy. Whether it's a hard ground or a soft ground roller or an inky one, you're going to need biodiesel, roller cleaner, vinegar, and simple green. You're also going to need a shop towel and one of your own blue shop towels, the disposable kind. Put on your gloves. Here I've got a roller with hard ground on it. And before I start to clean it, I'm actually going to just roll it on the hot, hot plate. And that takes off 95% of the ground. So, starting with my gray studio shop towel, I'll apply a little bit of biodiesel. And then begin wiping the roller on the rubber part. The reason why you don't put biodiesel directly onto the roller is because it makes quite a mess. It's not really necessary and biodiesel does a great job of removing almost all of the remaining ground or ink. Go all the way around the roller, get the sides. There should be almost nothing left. Next we're going to move on to roller cleaner. Roller cleaner is just dish soap and water in a spray bottle. And here's where you use your blue shop towel. Spray the blue shop towel and begin wiping the rubber part of the roller again. You're not cleaning the ground or the ink at this point really. You're just removing the residue of the biodiesel, which is not something we want to leave on the roller. The biodiesel actually eats away at the rubber of any sort of roller. Go all the way around, get the edges. Now you can spray a bit of white vinegar onto your roller. The white vinegar acts as a degreaser. It's removing the grease that's been left behind a little by the biodiesel, but more really by the soap and water. Same thing all the way around the rubber, hit the edges, get the handle and get up underneath. And the final step is simple green. Simple green is a biodegradable water based soapy detergent mixture. So we're going to wipe the handle, we're going to wipe the rubber again, we're going to wipe the edges. When you're done cleaning your roller, whether it's a little brayer like this or a big roller, it should be perfectly dry. And you can see that I really only used one blue shop towel for this whole procedure. Clean the handle off, dry it, set it down facing up, and you're done.